house party next to me right there I hope the music uh, won't get me the MCA really hope because it's not my music but yeah Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night, dad.
This is really nice that it's so bright. Like it's 8 p.m. Or actually, it's after 8 p.m. and it's still really bright. I just don't have a gimbal and seems like Twitch is not really good at uh, stabilizing the video, but I don't have a gimbal with me, so sorry about that. There's like a little, I don't know what's called, but the water from this reservoir goes down there and it becomes a stream down there. Which we could check actually. I used to come here a lot as a kid, so it's quite overgrown now, so I don't think everyone is using it. Oh boy. So that's where the water is coming out. And uh, that's the little stream. I used to go over there, but I don't think I want now because I really don't. I think that part is very slippy. I really don't want to fall into it. But yeah, it's quite cozy, quite beautiful. Sky is nice. But yeah, I just don't want to slip into it. Ruin my shoes. So I'm going to go back here. Show you the rest. Excuse the foliage, which there's quite a lot of bugs and stuff here. So I don't really like, but view is quite quite beautiful. Love this lake, a reservoir, but whatever this is. There's a lookout tower, which you can check out in other stream, maybe. I just don't feel like going into the forest a bit because I'm afraid of ticks. And yeah, they can give you some nasty infections and shit. So we're just looking at the shaky footage of this beautiful lake and me walking. That's today's stream. Look at this. Oh boy, it's shaky. I'm gonna bring a gimbal next time. So yeah, that little brown thing poking out. I don't know if you can see it, middle of the screen. That's the lookout tower, that's brand new. Oh yeah, that's the lake. There's the moon. So, I think the sun has pretty much set at this time. So, yeah. And we have ducks, like a lot of them. I can't zoom with the official Twitch app, so. That's all I can show you about the ducks. They're pretty cute. There's a shit ton of ducks more. Look at that. Look at all these ducks. Hey there. You guys good? I think they're good. Why wouldn't they be? It's beautiful. Okay. 
And there's like all the shrubbery and stuff, which is just the, I don't know. I think you can get lost if you go in there. Wouldn't recommend it. That forest a bit actually has a, a bunch of beautiful trails and it has a quite a bit of elevation. So if you go up, um, not just the lookout tower, there's a bunch of cool stuff there. a lot of bucks too I guess because it's late boy do I hate mosquitoes not good So yeah, I'm gonna go into the forest a bit because I don't want to get attacked by ticks. I don't have any repellent. Maybe next time. I just want to find an empty bench so I can sit down, talk a bit more, look at the lake, chill out a bit. Because boy, do I need it. Uh, boy, do I need some chill right now. Had a rough week, not gonna lie. Uh, I think all the benches are occupied. Look at this, so beautiful. That does sound like an empty beach bench, sorry. And I'm just gonna put it down here. Uh, hope not to annoy anyone. But I guess people have to be confused why I'm talking to myself in English, but... Hey, 2021, people are live streaming, so that's the beach or like the waterfront of the reservoir, it's quite a popular one, as you saw by the people. There's the house party I was talking about. I 
think next time I'm gonna try streaming with my GoPro or um, at least the Filmic Pro app because they have they have stabilization so you don't see this shit. <laughs> And I'm wearing my older Crocs, of course. Quite the staple. And it's not quite a sunset, but it's still a nice thing to look at, at least. I don't know where can I stand where you can see both me and the lake, maybe like here. So yeah, that's the dynamic range is not really picking it up, maybe like this, yeah, looks a little better. Quite a bit of traffic now. So yeah, but that was a random idea. I just wanted to go for a walk and I was like let's stream, let's live stream also I wanted to check the um, Twitch's um, auto live stream stuff like in app it's, yeah I think next time I'm gonna go with the GoPro or something because yeah the dynamic range is really aggressive maybe like that I don't know Looks kind of cool. <sighs> the weather is actually finally really nice because we've been having a stupid heat wave. Thank you, cars. So we've been having a stupid heat wave with like 40 degrees C, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and now it's only 24 degrees, which is, you know, a lot better actually. I have to go on a walk actually because uh, I don't know where I should be because this is a, a split lane for um, bikers and pedestrians so I'm just gonna go like this why is it all blown out come on now maybe like this uh, yeah the dynamic range is really having a field day now huh but yeah it's a it's a beautiful place also the GoPro has a much wider field of view so you'd be able to see much more but again this was a quick idea just to show you this beautiful lake slash reservoir also we have these nice uh, I don't know wooden barriers separate from the traffic it's really nice I don't know how people are gonna be weirded out me talking in English but I'm not sure I'm shouting so shouldn't bother anyone most I could be on the phone so who cares am I right who actually cares oh yeah we uh, 
we don't have a mask mandate anymore in Hungary. So, no masks. Uh, not even in convenience stores, which is beautiful. But, I don't know, it's kind of bittersweet because uh, I have a suspicion that from September it's gonna go back to like ah oh, the wave free with a new vaccine a new mask mandate new curfew whatever so I don't know it's just kind of nice though just walking around boy do I need a selfie stick because holding it like this it's not the best Hey, nice to see you. See where I'm at? It's the reservoir. It's the lake. It's the one you know. This is a random idea. I just came here and I'm like, maybe I should be live streaming. So here I am. Look at this. Quite beautiful. Oh yeah, it did become very nice. They added all these benches and shit. The um, lookout tower, all these corridors, all this nice pavement, all this stuff for your bike. New benches like this, the wavy bench. So yeah, it's, it's really cute, really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down here because I'm getting the dangerously close to the end of my uh, end of the runway here. So yeah, and it's also very bright. Like again, it's half past eight p.m. and it's still looking like this. That's what I love about summer. Not exactly the fucking heat but being able to just come out at 9 p.m. and still be able to do stuff I'm sure the woods look at this it's a very nice mostly pine and the lookout tower is somewhere there there's the moon so it's a lovely place again I used to come here all the time as a child but now that it's actually, um, I don't know, made nicer by the um, county, it's actually nicer even to hang out. It's just a couple of, it's been uh, rebuilt by like, uh, I want to say a year ago but it was just chock full of people. So you wouldn't want to come here because it was like everyone wearing masks and everyone was like, I don't know, right next to each other's ass. So it was full, but really like you were walking in a crowd, which again, in a situation like this, or actually back then, because now there's no mask mandate, um, yeah, that was not a good call, but now you can just come here and chill. And there's not that many mosquitoes when you get a little further from the water. And you can have a look at these beautiful, uh, whatever they are called. The, the, I can't remember, it's on the tip of my tongue. The shit that grows out of water, you know. And yeah, it's cozy. It has a lot of ducks, which are very cute. And it's also very nice to bike because these roads are absolutely made for biking, as you see. There's traffic though. Read, that's the one. Thank you very much. My mind is just blanking on those things nowadays. 
Plus I'm very tired, I had a rough week. Came here just to chill and I was like, eh, let's try that. I had a stream thing that I was talking about a lot. Maybe some people are interested in that. Because why not? I was hoping for a little more uh, wind. That would be even better. That would be perfect. You know that. You know that. Uh, kind of warm ish summer wind. That just makes it like, ah, oh, that's summer. So yeah, I don't know. But it's still nice. Again, as I said, if, uh, especially after the fucking heat wave, it, 40 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, that was unbearable. I was sitting under my AC, which thank God that I have. And I was just trying to survive. I really don't, I, I, I can't tolerate super high temperature. Uh, something in my system just says, nope. So that's why I'm here, like almost 9 p.m. Because it's much nicer now. Yeah, but next time I'm gonna bring my GoPro because it has a wider field of view. Ugh. And I don't have to like hold it like this. So yeah. All right. Let's walk a bit more. Maybe I venture into the... But no, it's like... I don't wanna get... I don't have my... I have like... I have like this. Which is my leather crocs. I don't want to go into the fucking woods because it's just dirt and shit. So I'm just gonna walk back. But yeah, it's a nice place. I love it. Also, I haven't checked if there's any chance of rain and I absolutely don't want to get drenched because I don't have an umbrella, I don't have a coat, I don't have shit. <laughs> so, so yeah, not really, not really looking forward to getting caught, but you know, the sky is pretty clear. Not that that's a guarantee that there's not going to be a fucking thunderstorm. Actually, I can sit down here. Just look at the, look at the scenery. Let me talk from the background, huh? Look at this. Ain't she a beauty? What's I think I can't, it's not gonna be rain? Okay. What's I thinking this fits very well with my uh, chill streams, so it's another bonus. But yeah, I am thinking uh, doing more of these with a GoPro or a gimbal or something. Maybe going into the woods behind me. Because they look very nice. But I think I just have to get up early. Because... Um, or maybe do it on a Thursday? I don't know. I just don't want to be constantly dodging people. Running into people, having like a cookout something and yeah but the stabilization is not I was hoping it's a little better in the built-in twitch app but yeah it's not horrible but it's this is not <laughs> particularly nice to look at you can see the water down there well, I can so yeah, just watching the sunset, chilling out, that's good.
or if there's gonna be a popular demand I can do one in uh, downtown Budapest because you know that's one of the most beautiful cities and one of the most popular tourist destinations so that would be nice I actually know some hidden places in Budapest, so maybe yeah, next time I grab the GoPro, go for the night walk in uh, Budapest downtown. I just have to do it in a... Um, not at the weekend, because again, I don't want to dodge crowds. I, I, that is something I hate. I hate just bumping into people and just dodging them all the time so i think it's gonna be um either tuesday or thursday i can grab my gopro go for a night ride or something if there's any demand maybe i do a poll next time or something uh well yeah i think this chilling watching the Sunset by the lake is be chill enough. And boy do I need some chill as I said. <laughs> this this is a good way of uh, ending a rough week or something. Maybe even for you guys virtually. And there's still the fucking house party which I went very close so I really hope I'm not gonna get copyright striked DMC it or anything maybe on YouTube I don't know but yeah I just want to keep my channels clean I license all the fucking music from like I don't know six different places so it would be a shame to get DMC it by a house party which is also a concern in the city, but maybe I should read up on the guidelines for IRL streams. Maybe you can dispute it or whatever, I don't know. That's a problem for tomorrow's Balint. Today's Balint is just chilling by the lake, so. Is there a better view? It's gonna get my hand tired, but... I have so much video gear, microphones and everything, I just didn't bring any of them, because I was like, nope, I wanna relax, and then I was like, eh, I can do an IRL stream if I really want to, so... So yeah, that's the lake slash reservoir. That's me, my tired ass face. And uh, I don't know, can I see stats and shit? It would be nice. You can only see chat. Uh, no, I don't think so. This is very limited. Yeah, next time I'm gonna bring my I don't know, if I'm streaming from the GoPro, I think I can uh, switch to the creator dashboard on Steam, um, Twitch. But if I can't, then I have to bring my uh, gimbal for my phone and my left mic or the boom mic. Then I think I'm gonna, I don't know, bring my iPad and look at the stand. But yeah, this is cozy. Ooh, I can see a lot of mosquitoes. I don't like mosquitoes. Nobody likes mosquitoes. They just fucking suck. <laughs> Hot take. I know you come here for these very brave statements. That mosquito bad. Yes. But yeah, and there's the moon. There it is. 
Can I see the lookout tower from here? No, absolutely not. No, it's, it's a fun thing. I'm enjoying it more than I um, thought I would. Streaming from um, outside my little gamer den. Which I don't call it that. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, the sun is setting. Come on, there you go. That is one aggressive fucking HDR or whatever. Also, did you know that HDR, again, standing from high, for high dynamic range, in photography has, well, always stood for high, dy high dynamic range, which, you know, take more shots and combine them, so the blown out parts can be restored by another picture that with a lower exposure, but in video games, back in the day, uh, early 2000s, I think, HDR was called, uh, what was called HDR in gaming was eye adaption, which is if your character goes from outside into a dark room, your eyes would adapt. Now we just call it eye adaption and it's in every game. But uh, it wasn't always the case. It was called HDR. But now, because we have actual high, dy high dynamic range output and HDR displays, we call that HDR. <laughs> and we call eye adaption, eye adaption. Which is uh, a lot better naming scheme wise. So, yeah. Yeah, this is really nice. That's a good idea, coming out here. Mm. Mm. Oh, a little sleepy. Didn't sleep very well. So, the sun is pretty much going down. But, I mean, this phone has a really nice low light performance. Much better one than the GoPro, but still. Hopefully it will cope with the next one when I go into the forest. But yeah, I just want to go... Uh, I'm so bad at waking up early. Uh, I always have been like a night owl type of person. Um, which, you know, if you're an early bird and you go hiking and stuff, I like hiking. Hiking is beautiful, but not in fucking broad daylight when it's like uh, you just you just get melted by the temperature, especially around noon. So and yeah, you don't really hike at night because it's dark and you can't see shit. So you have to wake up early. But the good thing about um, shooting video photography in a forest uh, in the morning is that the sun is quite low so you get a much more interesting and more pleasing lighting as like the light shafts shining through the forest again for anyone um, didn't know I have been a photographer and videographer professionally for over 10 years now so that's my background, that's why I know so much about these things. Uh, but yeah, maybe, maybe, I don't know. But that's the other thing. I, I stream around uh, 8 p.m. Budapest time, so I can catch a bit of UK audience, catch a little bit of the US, maybe. But that would be um, after midnight for me, which is a little late for uh, starting a four hour ish stream. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe there's gonna be a time zone that I can finally capitalize on. Maybe, I don't know, people from whatever, India will click on it because they will be like, oh, finally someone streaming in this um, time zone. Yes. 
I don't know. It's weird. And it's all guesswork. So you have to guess, like, uh, I can look at time zones and, like, um, the best time to stream for whichever um, day of the week or time. But usually everyone else um, looks those up. So you end up with um, an overcrowded um, time zone. And I don't know, I don't want to stream when XQC is streaming or whatever. Because, you know, people are gonna more likely click on his stream than mine. So I just want to find a sweet spot, kind of a time period that isn't really crowded. And yeah, also discoverability on Twitch is weird because you can only be discovered when you're actually live. So that's three times a week, four hours. So that's 12 hours a week when people actually discover me. So it's gonna be much better when my YouTube channel is in actually a weekly rotation and I bring out um, new YouTube videos every week. Which should be coming, by the way, very soon. But yeah, until then I just have to guess all these. Which is not a bad thing, but like, you know, starting a YouTube channel and Twitch channel in uh, 2021 is tough. Not impossible, but you have to, have to be cool with it, that it's a really crowded, um, competitive place. So you have to, have to know a lot and uh, do market research and do stuff, which I'm doing in the background. So when I'm not streaming, I'm editing videos, doing client work, uh, researching stuff. We're trying to get another project off the ground. So yeah, stuff like that. It's getting dark, but not too dark. So yeah. Finally, there's a little bit of wind. Oh, I love the wind. It's just, you know, the, the gentle uh, summer wind. It's just so nice. But yeah, next time, absolutely bringing the GoPro and maybe I can hook up a microphone or... I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to buy the fucking bundle. Uh, it's really expensive. Because I have the Hero 9, which has a nice microphone. But it's far away from you so left mic would be nicer but my left mic only works with the iPhone and I think if I'm streaming from the GoPro I can only use the GoPro's audio so tech nerd stuff I know but these are the behind the scenes that some of you were asking me about so yeah But it's nice. It's really, really cozy here. And it's not crowded, which I'm, thank God, really thankful for. <sighs> I wanted to get closer to the docks, but another thing, you cannot zoom in this, uh, I tried, but this is the Twitch application, go live stuff, which, you know, has this horrible stabilization, weird dynamic range, and uh, no zoom. I hope my audio is okay, but the iPhone 11 has a really nice microphone, so at least, fingers crossed though. And yeah, I don't have my alerts. I don't have my scenes, I don't have music, which I think I can figure out because I've seen people do that, but I don't know how, how complicated and annoying that is because I just really like um, not walking around with a full video set like I do that enough when I do client work and we're shooting uh, music videos for a rock band or something and it's like 
all the stuff and the huge ass cameras and everywhere and lights and stuff I don't really want to walk around with a huge light I just want to keep it minimalist because I feel more comfortable that way people don't get weird looks in the background like what is he doing and yeah that's that's the that's the concern but hey I just like being transparent and honest because I think what I'm drawn to in other um, streamers and YouTubers is just being genuine, being like a genuine, transparent, honest human being. That's uh, that is so nice. Oh hey, nice to see you. Let me show you where I am. I'm here. lake and the sun is setting Ugh. but yeah I don't have my nice microphone and stuff so it's not the best quality but first try have to have to make do also this glare is not the best which I think won't happen with the GoPro because it has like a tiny screen on the front Again, we'll see. I have, to, I have to do a bunch of technical streams, which I usually label like technical stream, hashtag not interesting or boring or something. People still clock, click on it, God bless. And they just try to... Um, people click on my technical test streams and they're so nice that they try to type in like uh, tips. <laughs> Very nice. But yeah, that's why I'm streaming on Twitch and not YouTube because if you know anything about YouTube comments, they are mean. They are just mean. People are assholes on YouTube. But on Twitch, everyone is so nice. Everyone is so lovely. Everyone is so kind. And I don't know, I need a lot of that. Because if you spend a lot of time on the internet, and like everyone needs kindness. But if you spend a lot of time on the internet and you just see all these horrible things happening in the world, you just need something cozy, you just need some chill, you just need some nice people telling you nice things. Or just like-minded people talking about rally cars while I'm playing uh, Dirt Rally 2.0 or something. That's why I love it so much. It is getting dark though, look at this. Ooh, that was a AMG Mercedes. I don't know which one. The black edition. I don't know the... It's like the 2018, like, the rounded, very sporty, very expensive one that looks um, similar to the McLaren Mercedes. I don't know. Some people will tell me which one is. Because I can identify a lot of cars, but... Mercedes, Audi, and uh, BMW are out of my out of my reach. I, I don't really recognize those. <laughs> and mostly, what I can um, recognize is like you know sports cars, rally cars, or like stuff that I like personally a lot. Which it's not to say that I don't really seem for the brand new uh, BMW 8 series because it's beautiful oh my god but it's so expensive you can buy like a Porsche for that price which some could argue that a BMW is a better car in some aspects because it can be but I don't know it, uh, too expensive too fucking expensive but yeah So there's the reservoir slash lake with all the reeds and uh, birds and mosquitoes, fucking mosquitoes, the sun setting, there's a house party in the background, it's very nice, hmm. really fucking nice. So. 
I'm gonna do more IRL streams, or maybe if not IRL streams, just go outside to my uh, terrace and just set up a nice lighting and stuff. Cause I have colorful lights on my terrace. I just um, I was looking into a um, cause you know I don't want to route my HDMI cable and bring my big camera outside. So I want to use my phone. But I want to use it wirelessly. But if I plug in a microphone, I don't want to drain the battery. So uh, it's complicated. But I'll figure it out. I have all the technical shit that I need. I just have to read a bunch of blogs and uh, look at all the all the stuff. Maybe it's nicer this way, so you can see the sun setting. Ugh. Let me sit like this, so it's a little, a little nicer to look at. Huh? Is it nice? Hope so. Yeah, I mean it's getting dark, but the camera compensates a lot, so it's like, I don't know, twice as dark. And my face is illuminated by the, by the phone, where I can read chat. So yeah. Next time, absolutely bringing the GoPro and a microphone, but this was just a test one, I guess. But it's cozy, it's really nice. See a bunch of bikers going around, a bunch of people minding their own business, chilling out. Also, this is a fishing lake, so oftentimes you see people spending the whole day fishing here and usually you don't want to disturb them by talking loudly or something so usually you just want to avoid them but i don't know if they can fish here anymore because they they um made a bunch of changes um and they um i don't know redesigned the whole thing make it nicer make it cleaner you can see the noise here how much it's compensating you, ha you see how noisy that is the shimmering so yeah it's actually twice as dark as this but yeah let's take another walk and uh talk a bit more and then i think i'm gonna call it and uh get back to my car and drive back because it's really getting dark i mean it's not bad yeah the stabilization is even worse at night and this is, look at this, look at that. There's the house party, by the way. I can still see, uh, hear from here. I don't know if you can. Also, this mic is probably tuned for picking up um, human voice and not music. But yeah. Also, it smells like a lake, which is. It's just a nice smell, you know. It doesn't smell like uh, fish, it smells like nature. Very wet, moist nature. I'm very surprised that people are not wondering what the fuck am I doing. <laughs> Maybe they are used to fucking TikTokers shooting videos everywhere. But hey, let's hope it stays that way. This is as far as I'm gonna go. I'm gonna come up down here. So, 
Let's look at the lake. Yes. Maybe I can do it like this so you can see the lake and me. Cute, huh? Adorable. Very nice, very nice. There's the moon. There's the moon. So yeah. I think I'm gonna walk back to my car now. Because it's getting really dark. And I don't wanna I don't wanna keep apologizing for <laughs> the video being too dark. But yeah, um that's it. If you liked it, um maybe let me know. There's gonna be it's gonna be a VOD like of all of my streams on my Body Bunny Live YouTube channel. And if you wanna see more of this, you can comment down below that hey that was cool, I wanna see more. So yeah. That's a cool thing. Or you can just drop into any live stream and type, hey, I want more IRL stuff that was really nice or something. Just let me know. I don't need feedback. I wanna do stuff that not just I enjoy, but you enjoy too. That's the that's the That's the rule of entertainment. Good entertainment. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Take care everyone. See you um Tuesday, I think. Bye bye.